All right, today we have a 2014 Supra Launch 242. This is a boat that's available on consignment here at the shop. Measures in at 24 foot, two inches long. Sitting on a tandem axle uh, Boatmate trailer. Super branding on it. Uh, blue with a white haul bottom. It's actually more of like a like a silver cloud or like a like an off white. It's not like bright white haul. Um, but anyways, details. And it has a little bit of black accent striping just above the white um, along the edge of the waterline there. But a uh, really sleek, big boat. Has a nice sleek profile on the water, as a lot of Supers from this era did. Um, it's going to have a two-point Roswell flight control tower, similar to what you see on some of the Nautiques from the... 2010 to 2017, depending on the model. Does have a bimini top, four Polk tower speakers, and rotating board racks. But a nice boat. We're going to walk around, check out the features, and point out any cosmetic blemishes. It does have um, a graphic, in, uh, a vinyl graphic towards the back and up here a little bit on the front. Um, nice big chrome super lettering. On the port side, we do have a couple scratches here in the gel coat just above the rub rail. Um, this one here being the deepest of any of these. These aren't too bad. Um, we did go around and just buff on the boat, get the color nice and bright on this thing. Um, but those are gonna take a little bit more than a buff to come out. Uh, the graphics are in pretty good shape, you know, uh, oftentimes with these vinyl graphics you're going to see anytime you come into contact with a dock, it's going to ding these things. So it's why a lot of manufacturers have gone away from these vinyl graphics. Well, you've got a couple little nicks here and there, nothing major and nothing through um, into the gel on this side. Uh, you do have the Launch 242 logos on the back. And a couple of small, small nicks. If I put my finger up there, super tiny. Um, we do have gator step flooring on the platform around the back here with a nice walk through over the engine hatch into the interior. Um, wrapping around, it does have a center trim plate and these stainless exhaust tips, which are kind of unique looking. I've not seen anything like that before. Um, and the platform comes off nice and easy with a couple of pins that you pull. Now the owner had uh, an upgraded ballast system put in this thing and then they used one of the Velcro stick-on wave shapers. I can't remember the name of uh, the brand, but it's in the boat, comes with the boat. We've decided to leave the Velcro on there in case somebody wants to utilize that wave shaper for surfing. If somebody wants us to take it off, we'll take it off. But for now, that Velcro is staying um, it isn't in, in perfect shape. It's starting to peel a little bit down at the bottom. Um, but uh, as to what's under there, I don't know if there's any scratches or damage. Um, I would assume this has been on here for quite some time. And it's probably a pretty uncommon spot to see damage on the boat anyways. But uh, if someone was real concerned, we could peel it off. Um, do you have a little bit of a chip here on this uh, logo for the L on the launch? couple small nicks there in the in the vinyl same thing up here below the uh, bilge and as we move forwards you see this light scrape starts to form until we get boom right up here you see a gouge there and then this is actually not through to the gel just the top layer of the decal came off and there's a little bit of glue left over so that's not uh, a chip down into the gel coat the gel coats right underneath there and if you take your fingernail to it you can see that um, otherwise exterior is looking really nice there's no damage on these uh, Supra Chromax lettering and there's nothing else in the gel coat up uh, as we move our way up to the bow there is again another small ding right there in that graphic hull looks pretty good um, you're gonna see some light scratches here and there from the bunks coming in and off of the trailer but no uh, damage out of the ordinary um, that you'd see on any other used boat nice and clean underneath no chips chunks anything like that 
So let's hop inside, go through the interior on this Supra. Get one more look down the side here. But good looking boat, let's hop in. Take off my shoes. The gator step is a little worn in. Like you're gonna see spots where, like on these letters here, where it's starting to dry rot and shrink and it's cracked because of that. But overall, it doesn't look too offensive hanging out. Um, Walkthrough looks good. Sun pads look pretty good. There is a little bit of discoloration in a couple spots. So you've got these little spots right here. I don't know what that's from. Um, hopefully you can see that pretty minor and then around the back edge where the cover kind of wraps around the bottom um, Which this does have a full mooring cover that has snaps So it's a two-piece cover ones for the cockpit ones for the bow um, But you do have a little bit of discoloration you can probably see that around this back edge of the sun pad It's probably worse on starboard side, but you have a little bit on the port side Hopping inside, we do have a pop-up ski pylon in the back. And then nice open wraparound seating through the interior. 242 is a big boat, so there's a lot of room in this thing. Um, the seats are in pretty good shape overall. Um, obviously, all the traffic in the boat is going to be from here into the, into the boat and stepping on these back seats. I believe this is the cool touch vinyl and one of the downsides of cool touch vinyl is anywhere you punch a thread through this material it becomes brittle so you have some splits along the seams starting to form so this interior doesn't get hot in the sun but it is prone to stretching and cracking anywhere that they've they've stitched so these three back seats along the uh the seams here are starting to crack on all three of the very back seats. Hopefully you can see that. Um, let's open up the engine hatch. This has a 5.7 liter MCX Inmar engine. Um, it is 490 hours on it. It's freshly serviced with uh, fresh fluids, filters, and an impeller. So it is ready to roll for the season runs great um, this is a motor that's been around a long time and um, yeah that's what we've got going on in this supra 490 hours on that uh if i open this side we've got the covers kind of jammed in there this does have an upgraded ballast system so in each corner back here there's this massive fly high bag that runs from here all the way up to the crease in this uh in the the, the break in the seat cushion there so it actually goes up under the seat. And uh, those are all plumbed in. Flip the switch, fill them up, and you're good to go. Didn't mention, but there is also gator step traction around the gunnels of the boat. Um, the rest of the interior is like pretty much perfect. I haven't seen any tears, rips, scratches, uh, other than maybe some spots where it's not perfectly, perfectly white, but it's a white interior. It's not always gonna be, it's never gonna look like the day it was brand new. You do have a little bit of mildew discoloration here. I'm sure um, with some sunlight, that could clean up a little bit better. If we flip open our seats, you just have carpeted storage underneath. There's a fire extinguisher down there. Flip open over here. Same thing, there's an extension cord they think they ran in here for a battery manager. I mean, it doesn't go to anything if it's not hooked up, uh, but it's gonna, it's gonna stay with the boat. Underneath, we have kicker amp, pulk amp, and pulk control unit for your stereo. There's, uh, there, there's your inboard battery, or your onboard battery charger. I didn't realize this one had that, tucked away back there. So it does have an in, uh, an in-house charger for these batteries. Three batteries set up. It's gonna have all three um, fresh batteries in there when it goes out. Let's flip open. The glove box has the Polk head unit and stereo hookups. It does have Bluetooth um, and auxiliary slash USB. Need to adjust that. <laughs> it's not quite clipping up top. So we'll get that locked in. Um, interesting walk through up through the front, which is a cool feature on these 242s. I can get it to lock 
You've got a nice lean back you can flip up if you want. A little bit more seating facing back. And when you're done, those fold flat. So it opens up your walk through to the front and I believe that seat flips up towards the bow. We've got a big mirror here um, on the dash. It's got an analog fuel, tack, speedo, and trim gauge. But in the center, it's got the, um, the push button control screen. I don't know what they called this this particular year, but you essentially run your stereo. Um, you can run maps, uh, set your speed for your cruise control, which it does have GPS zero off speed control. Uh, all your lighting, if you've got heat, all that fun stuff is ran through there. This particular boat does not have a heater. Um, I believe it has a heated seat. Over here, you got analog gauges for your ballast, fill and drain. So along with the ballast in the back, you have a belly bag that sits kind of down underneath here. I won't flip that open because I need both hands to open everything up. Uh, before I move forward though, uh, super tower. Um, super easy to fold this thing. You release the knob or the latch on either side, fold that bimini up and the tower drops forwards. Does have a light up top here in the middle. These speakers rotate, which is pretty cool. You can face them down, face them forwards, whatever you want. And then walking up into the bow, nice open seating. Um, you open up one of the seats here, but you just have storage up underneath here in the floor. Hopefully I'm aiming the camera the right way. There we go. Polk speakers, you got six of them through the interior. And then the four up top. And I don't believe this particular boat does have a subwoofer. So that's pretty much it. Um, boat's in good shape. A couple little things on the outside and these back seats are starting to split, but you don't see that from too far away. It's a high traffic area, so it's normal to see. So if you have any questions, give us a call at N3 Boatworks. Number is 317 845 9253. Thanks for checking out the Supra. If you want to come check it out in the shop, give us a call, shoot us a text, and we'll set an appointment and love to show it to you. Thanks for watching.